Yacoub, how can patients engage in shared decision making with their healthcare providers to determine the most appropriate treatment approach for their myeloproliferative neoplasm, whichever one that may be? Thank you. So I, I perceive my relationship with my patients as partnership. I've tried to teach them, but I also learn a lot from them. Um, and some patients keep up with newsletters and FDA approvals and um, uh, press releases as much as or better than any of the physicians <laughs> that we work with. So uh, I think the more informed the patient is, the more able they are to contribute to their own well-being and to the improvement in, the, in, in healthcare. Uh, many healthcare projects in the U.S. are is led by patients and patient advocates. So the more involved patients are, the more aware they are of the moving parts in the field, the more they can contribute to their own um, improvement and their own health. So I, my advice to patients is to um, uh, be as involved as they can. And this is these are chronic cancers they will live they will live with for the rest of their lives. So my activate tip for these patients is that you have to understand that your cancer is a disease you're gonna partner with for the rest of your life. And the more skilled and knowledgeable you are, the more you can ad get the best care you deserve and advocate for yourself and be able to communicate your challenges with your doctors and be a, a, an activating part and a participating partner in your own care. So when it comes to shared decision making, is it very common for you to work with the patient and their local general oncologist for shared decision making? Or do you typically have a patient come talk with you and then the patient takes the information back that they've learned from you to their local oncologist? There are many um, phases and many methods of how we can collaborate with patients and their caregivers and their local providers and so forth. So, and, th and this carries different forms. So we see this a lot recently with the FDA approval of interferons and physicians who are in practice have not been trained to use that. And they all are interested in applying the new technology and using the new medicines in their patients. And they seek, they seek us, they actually send patients for us to co-manage so that they can learn from the process. So they're very involved and they're very curious and they want to learn the new medicines and how to use them and how to apply the new knowledge and how to interpret molecular results and so forth. Everybody has a role to play. So as, as community physicians who treat patients have a key role in delivering care to patients, patients also have a role at learning this. And our job is to teach patients and their doctors how to raise their levels to be able to um, to uh, speak the same language, to be able to understand the same knowledge and to be able to contribute and make informed decisions. The more informed the patient, the more they can contribute and the more they can be uh, active partners in the healthcare. 